I bought a mini tabletop jukebox thing off eBay. Not off of eBay. Off eBay. It's pretty big. For some reason this is printed off really strangely, but it was sold as faulty, not Alkring, no return, no refund. It's a steeple tone classic rock mini tabletop jukebox CD. And I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I paid $6.99 postage. Right, so let's just plug it in and make sure that it's not Alkring. In fact, let's just check that first. Voltage DC. And there we go, we have 12.1 Voltage DC. Let's plug it in. And what's it doing? Not a lot. Okay. Right, well, it doesn't work, so let's open it up and let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Let's start with the screws on the back. We've got eight of them. Uh, they all, oh no, we've got nine of them. Oops. Oh, voice over Steve. Why are you talking like that, you weirdo? Holy Hand Grenade patrons this week are Tidder, Ellis Garbutt, Jamrag Berlin, Oz Newton, One Jockey, Markovitz19, Sixty Does Stuff, Not Western and Sons, Adam RDL Taylor, and Jonathan Harden. Thank you so much for your support. It's really appreciated. He's taking a long time with his screws, isn't he? It's hard to tell whether this has been a part before because obviously there's no warranty sticker on it or anything. Right, what have we got? Stuff. Hmm. Well, let's start by looking at the power adapter. That looks okay. Hmm, can't see where it goes though. This is going to be really difficult to work on. It is made out of actual wood though, which is nice. I mean, sure it's some kind of crappy MDF or something, but it's it's wood. Let's try and give ourselves a little bit more room. Just like that. Mmm, wires. The power adapter runs down these two wires and it goes into this plug here on this bottom circuit board. So I think that's probably as good a place as any to start. But before I go messing about too deep into this, let's plug the power adapter back in and let's see if the 12 volts are coming through on the other side. I'm sure they will be. <laughs> are you joking? They're not. Oh. Right, well, I guess that's the problem then. Well, that's weird. Well, let's take this out and have a look at that. This could end up being quite easy. Which I'm not going to complain at. I'm sure someone will. Right, well, I'm going to have to desolder those wires, otherwise there's no way of me getting, getting this out properly, so let's do that first. Right, let's have a look at that. Um, let's undo these little screws here. Oh, they look like they've been undone before. Hmm, maybe someone's looked at this before. Uh, right, I'm going to have to get this under the microscope. I'm wondering whether it... it I can't see the ground around the, the edge. The negative should be like some metal or something that connects... So the back here, I can't see it, but the microscope will tell us all. Okay, microscope, tell us. Well, I can see some metal down there, but I don't. Mm, I don't know. Has it been? Has it been snapped off? Hmm. Interesting. It should probably be longer than that. So when the barrel jack goes in. The outside of it should be touching that metal, and obviously the inside of it going around this pin. But I don't think it's doing that. Well, we've got a little bit sticking out here, so I can check that continuity. I can check to see whether it's going from there through to here. Let's do that. Continuity. Oh, it is. 
Okay, well that's annoying. So why would we not be getting 12 volts here then? Oh, it's got to be, it's got to be the sensor pin then, hasn't it? Let's check that on uh, continuity. Okay, now I'm even more confused. Right, I do think it's something to do with the outside, the negative, because if I go straight on the barrel of the jack and go to the pin at the back there, I am getting 12 volts. But if I do it from here to here, I get nothing. But yeah, I am getting continuity. That's what's confusing me. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I did before, right? Did I dream that? Maybe I just had it in at exactly the right angle last time. I'll just try moving it around. I'm pretty sure it's that. And yet I can't replicate it. How weird. I don't know what I can do about that. I think if I remove this solder, then maybe I can pull the metal strip out and maybe add to it and put it back in. I don't know. I'm going to try that. It's going to be quite fiddly, this. comes out now. Nope. <laughs> right, what's my alternative? Could probably slide something else in there next to it. I've got this empty can of Pepsi Max Cherry. Mmm. It's made of aluminium and it is conductive. So let's attack it with some flush cutters. Now, word of warning kids, this is probably very sharp. Don't try this at home. It's stupid and idiotic. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just making this up as I go along, in case you hadn't noticed. So I need to try and cut it. Uh, it'd be better if it went in that way. Yeah. So oh, I'm just going to cut a shape out and hope it works. There you go, Dave. Look after that for me. How's that? Alright, there we go. Um, let's try it. This is not as easy as it looks. We might have to come back to this after a many hours has passed type thing. Many hours later type thing. Oh, I think I might have it. Yes, I do. Oh, wow. And you can't even really see it. I'll show you under the microscope. Right, there we go. There's my extra piece of metal. Right there. There we go. Right, we're plugged in. So we should be getting 12 volts between here and here. Yes, we do. Excellent. Right, we're going to put this back together. I'm going to put this one in. I'm obviously not going to sell this with with this like this. It's um, I wouldn't be comfortable doing that. It's you know it's obviously a bodgy piece of Pepsi Max that's in there. But I don't know. Maybe it's a unique selling point. I'm very tempted to try and get a new one and replace it. But I think for the purposes of this, let's just put it back together and see if the unit itself actually works. It might not do. Right, before I put this fully back together, I've not put the back on yet. I'm just going to plug this in and see if we get any actual power. Oops, that's not going to help. Right, let's try this. Oh! Yes, we do! Oh, I'm still not convinced it works, though. They, uh, that's not lighting up, is it? Oh, no, don't tell me there's more wrong with it. I think it's supposed to have a remote control because there's no there's no volume knobs on this or anything. And yes, I did say knobs. Right, I figured it out. I'm such a muppet. Check this out. 
yes, there's a flap. So we'll put it on CD. We've got an option here, you can turn it off, obviously. Otherwise it would be on all the time. <laughs> Such a muppet. Uh, and then CD. You can see the little CD. I've not got CD in, but I've just got my phone hooked up to it by a line in. So I'm just going to test it that way, just to make sure that everything plays okay. And we pray, and we pray, and we pray, and we pray. Every day, every day, every day, every day. Well, that seems to play fine. Obviously, can't play too much of uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, but actually sounds all right. It's the people up with their family. Exactly how many days we're laughing. When you're laughing, we're passing, passing away. Uh, yeah, so I'll get some royalty-free music and test it properly once I've put the new power socket in. Let's do it. Tomorrow. Or whenever it arrives. My little power adapter jack thing has arrived. Here it is. And that's not all that arrived. Check these out. A couple of gifts off my Amazon wish list from James and Ord. Really enjoy the repairs. It's impressive stuff. All the best from Down in Essex from James and Ord. Awesome. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Right, so all I have to do is fit this into here. And then solder on those two eyes to the back, and Bob's your uncle. Nice. <laughs> Right, well, let's put this all back together now and let's see if it works. Right, all back together. There's the new little DC jack on the back. No one would know that wasn't factory. It's better than factory. Right, moment of truth, let's plug it in. You'll know if it works before I do because you're going to see whether it lights up or not. Well, does it work? Yay! Excellent. Let's change the mood in here and let's test it out. Sounds weird. Ooh! Right, let's pop a disc in and pray that the CD player works. CD. Do you know what? The sound's actually not that bad. It's better than I thought it was going to be. It does look nice. Stupid jukebox. And be a jukebox <laughs> hero. He's a jukebox hero. He took one guitar. Jukebox hero. He'll come alive tonight.